Oh, there he is. I got him. No, I got him. I got him. So the two cameos in the film, Ryan Reynolds and Kevin Hart, they were born out of the want to take the franchise in a tonally in a more fun way. And so we had this sort of um, traditional exposition scene about a virus, and um, I was starting to think about it, and I, I called Ryan and said, would you be interested in um, playing this character that gives us a bunch of exposition and sort of sets our guys on their mission? And he was like, yeah, I would love to do that. It'd be really fun. He was in Europe at the time. So I sent him the pages, and he did what Ryan does great. Like, he rewrites them, creates, you know, his voice for this character, comes up with some great jokes. There are some that are on the cutting room floor. You know, he comes in with a, a list of, like, just gold, you know, and you got to just decide what gold you want to keep. Really, the idea of having him was to try and make the movie fun and like to have those sort of energetic moments that keep the audience going on this roller coaster ride and making the tone um, its own thing separate from the fast world. Kevin was another example of that. Kevin um, came in, obviously his relationship with Dwayne, they go back, um, they had already been talking even before Dwayne got to set the first day, he was already sort of like, we should figure out something for Kevin, it'd be so fun to have Kevin. And there was a character in the script that gets things for them, like the Leo Getz character. Whatever you need, Leo gets. You get it? <laughs> Just a, a nice nugget for Kevin to come in, present his, his um, beautiful comedic brand to the world, and let audiences know that we're gonna be having fun with this universe. And um, again, like, we take ourselves seriously to a point, but we, you know, um, fan enjoyment is first in this franchise.